I tried out 10 different settings from pro players in Counter Strike 2 to find out who has the best one, and here is how it went. For this test, I'll be playing a deathmatch on each of the player's settings, and we'll be changing their DPI and sensitivity, the screen resolution, as well as the most recently used crosshairs. Since most of the websites that offer the list of settings are either outdated or just inaccurate, I made sure to verify all information firsthand through the most recent Twitch streams, just to make sure that everything is correct and up to date. However, we'll just stick to one graphic setting as the pros seem to just change them every day as they're trying to figure out themselves still what is best. So I just opted in for the middle ground of what the majority used. Anyway, now that we got the introduction out of the way, let's jump right into the first player. First up, we have Zaiwu, and he plays on 2 sensitivity on 400 dpi. He uses 1280 by 960, and his crosser is 2 length, 0.5 thickness, minus 3 gap, and he uses the cyan color. I'll be honest, I had high expectations going into the deathmatch, as obviously, Zaiwu is one of the best players in the world, so I was excited to try out his settings in game, and I wasn't actually disappointed. His sensitivity felt really nice, it's a bit faster to what I'm used to, but if anything, it didn't actually mess up with my readjustments, and it actually made me quicker with checking corners and flicking onto targets. Since he plays on the same resolution as I do right now, there is nothing I can say against it. And his crosser is also the same one that I use most of the time, so it honestly didn't feel like I even changed that much at the end of the day. But the increase in sensitivity was actually a plus, as I felt like I was a bit too slow with my own sensitivity at times. So all in all, I will give Zaiwu a 9 out of 10. Next up on the list we have Robs, and he plays on 1.77 sensitivity on 400 dpi, he uses the native resolution, so 1920 by 1080 and his crosser is actually the same one that Zaiwu uses, so 2 length, 0.5 thickness, minus 3 gap, and the cyan color. So as we already established previously, the crosser was great, one of the best ones in the game for sure, so that's already a plus. The native resolution on the other hand, is just something that I can't really get used to or even enjoy after playing CSGO in 4x3, so it just felt like my aim was a bit off because of it. The sense is very close to my own one, but it felt far slower on 16x9 than it does on 4x3. Despite all of that, I was still able to hit some nice shots and I felt pretty consistent in my gunfights. So all in all, I didn't really hate his settings, I feel like if I gave it a few more death matches, I would maybe start readjusting slowly, but judging based off of that one deathmatch alone, I would give Robs a 7.5 out of 10. Next up on the list we have Flusher, and he plays on 1.7 sensitivity on 400 dpi. He uses 1440 by 1080, which is 4 by 3 stretched, and his crosser is 3 length, 1 thickness, minus 3 gap, and his color of choice is red. First of all, I gotta say I love playing on his settings. The 1440 by 1080 is actually such a nice resolution, and compared to the usual 1280 by 960, the quality is obviously nicer, but it still has the stretched feeling to it. So if you haven't tried the resolution already, make sure to give it a go, as to me, it was a game changer. Next, his sensitivity actually felt very nice. It's only 0.1 higher than mine, and I can safely say that I felt like a sweet spot, as I still maintain my accuracy, but I also gained a bit of extra speed in flicking. Lastly, his crosser was my only worry going into this deathmatch, as I never really enjoyed playing with a red colour, but I honestly felt really nice as well. The size of the crosser was great for both tapping long range and spraying in close range battles, and the colour actually grew on me as well towards the end of the game. So to sum up, I will have to give Flusher a 10 out of 10 here. Next up, we have the man himself, Simple, and he plays on 3.09 sensitivity on 400 dpi, he uses 1280 by 960 so 4 x 3 stretched, and his crosser is 3 length, 0 thickness, minus 3 gap, and his go to colour is yellow. Same as Zaiwu, I had high expectations playing on his settings, as in my opinion, he is the greatest of all time, some may disagree, but I'm sure a lot of you will agree. Alright, enough of the meat riding, let's get into the pros and cons. The first thing I'll have to comment on is his sensitivity. 3.09 on 400 dpi is nearly the double of what I normally play with, so it felt like I was on roller skates when flicking my mouse around. I mean, sure, it made me insanely fast in close range battles, and I was able to flick onto people really fast when caught off guard, but it made me super inaccurate in longer range fights. I really struggled to micro adjust my crosser when I was fighting someone across the map, and I pretty much lost most of these gunfights as well. So even though I felt really snappy and clean with checking corners, the sense was just a bit too much for me in the grand scheme of things. The 1280 by 960 resolution is always nice, so I have nothing bad to say against it, and the crosser was actually really nice as well, definitely one that I could see myself using more often. So all in all, as fun as it was playing with this sense, I don't really see myself playing with it in an actual game, but regardless of that, I will still give Simple an AR10. Next up we have Adren, and he's actually the only person on this list who plays on 800 dpi. His sense is 1.1, he plays on 1280 by 960 and his crosser is 2 length, 0.5 thickness, minus 1.5 gap, and he uses the colour green. The first thing I gotta say is that I really did not enjoy his crosser. The minus 1.5 gap was just a bit too big for my liking, and it actually messed up with my aim a lot in long range fights. Other than that, 1280 by 960 go to resolution 
solution for most players it seems so far, so that's always nice. However, his sensitivity also did not much well with me. It's quite a bit faster than what I normally use, but it's also not as fast as some other ones in this video. So it was kind of just in between of being too fast and too slow, so I struggled to stay consistent with my flicks and readjustments because of it. So all in all, as harsh as it may sound, I'll have to give a Dren a 4.5 out of 10 as I really did not enjoy playing on the settings. Next up on the list we have Shox, and he plays on free sensitivity on 400 dpi. He also uses 1280 by 960 and his crosser is a bit of a weird one as it's the one that expands with moving as well as shooting. So instead of me just saying the numbers, it'll probably just be easier for you to copy the code in the description instead. When it comes to his settings, they were probably the weirdest to get used to, I'll be honest, as having a big moving crosser in the middle of your screen as well as playing on double of my usual sense was just an interesting experience to say the least. Also, because of my OBS, this was actually the third deathmatch I played on this settings as the first two games just didn't record for some reason. So it's a little bit of an unfair comparison as other players only had one deathmatch and Shox got three. But either way, let's get into the pros and cons. Originally, in the first game, I really didn't enjoy my time playing on the settings, but as I got into the third game, the sense kind of grew on me. Not gonna say it was great as I still struggled to take long range fights just like in Simple's case, but I felt really sharp on the flicks and I feel like I was winning majority of close range gunfights. And on top of that, the crosser eventually grew on me too. It's still not the greatest, don't get me wrong, but I didn't hate it as much as I did in the first match. Resolution wise, same 4x3 as always, so once again, it's a plus in my books. So all in all, if I had to rate shocks off of one game alone, he would receive a 6 out of 10, but after playing 3 death matches, I would bump the rating up to 7 out of 10. Next up, we have the sex god himself, Dosha, and he plays on 2.8 sensitivity on 400 dpi, he uses the 16x9 native resolution, so 1920x1080, and his crosshair is 1 length, 1 thickness, minus 2 gap, and he uses the yellow colour. So his crosshair is a bit different from the ones we mentioned so far in this video, but it was actually pretty nice. It was really good for tapping mid and long range, and overall I just didn't mind it at all. The native resolution once again felt a bit uncomfortable, and his sense didn't click with me either, as 2.8 is still really high, and even though it's lower than Simples and Shoxes, I actually preferred theirs over Dosha's. So all in all, I'll have to give Dosha a 6.5 out of 10. Coming up next is the legend himself, Kenny S, and he plays on 2.2 sensitivity on 400 dpi. He uses a 1024 by 768, which is the 4x3 resolution, but with a little twist as he actually uses the black bars. For some reason, I couldn't really get the black bars to work, so I just played with stretched, but if you want to replicate his settings, I advise you to try to get the black bars. And lastly, his crosser is a 2 length, 1 thickness, minus 3 gap, and he uses the yellow color. So right off the bat, I can safely say that I was enjoying his crosshair for both long range and close range gunfights. However, the 1024 by 768 resolution was a bit too pixelated, and even though it felt like I was playing CSGO again, I didn't really like the quality decrease. But it's probably not that bad with black bars enabled, and I assume it would have been better if it wasn't for the stretch resolution. His sense is identical to a Dren's, only difference being the DPI. So once again, I didn't really like it, and I felt like I was really inconsistent with my cross placement. So all in all, I'll have to give Kenny S a 6.5 out of 10. Next up on the list, we have Smuya, and he plays on 1.8 sensitivity on 400 DPI. He uses the same resolution as we have just used a moment ago, so 1024 by 768 stretched. And unlike Kenny, he actually doesn't use black bar, so he just stretches the resolution out. The crosser he uses is free length, zero thickness, minus two gap, and his color of choice is cyan. When it comes to his sense, I honestly really liked it. I felt pretty comfortable and accurate on it, but that's actually the only positive I have when it comes to his settings. The resolution, once again, felt a bit too pixelated and blurry. The crosser was also not the best. Even though the length was nice, the minus two gap combined with the zero thickness was just not it. So all in all, I didn't really enjoy playing on the settings, and I'm also pretty sure I had the least amount of kills of all other deathmatches using them too. So taking everything into consideration, I'll have to give Smuya a 4 out of 10. And last but not least, we have Carrigan. He plays on 1.4 sensitivity on 400 DPI, and he's actually the only person on this list that uses a 16 by 10 resolution, which is a custom 1600 by 1024. His crosser is 2.5 length, 1 thickness, minus 2.5 gap, and he uses the cyan color as well. Starting off with the resolution, I actually really liked it. It felt a bit native, but with a nicer stretch feeling to it. His crosser was also nice, as it's pretty much identical to the one I used on Valorant myself back in the day, so that was also good. But the only negative thing I really have to say about his settings is the sense, as it was just a bit too slow. But all in all, the sense wasn't that much of an issue, and since everything else was nice to play on, I will give Carrigan an 8.5 out of 10. And that will be it for this video. So on the screen right now, I will display a tier list of where I ranked every pro player settings in order from left to right. At the top in the S tier, we have the winner, Flusher, followed up by Zaiwu. Then below them in the A tier, we have Carrigan, Simple, and Rops. In the B tier, we have Shox, Dosha, and Kenny S. And last but not least, in the C tier, we have Adren and Smuya. But remember, this is just my opinion. Everybody has a different playstyle, so results will vary from person to person. If you stuck around till the very end, I really appreciate your time. And as always, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, as it really helps the video.
video reach a wider audience. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.